Alright, so what's going on YouTube? I found this bass right here at work one day. Uh, it was being discarded in the back. Scrap metal. Couldn't let that happen. It's kind of a cool little pedestal. I figured I'd make a tabletop for it. So I grabbed a couple pallets, brought them home, dismantled them, cut them into this table, and uh, this is my finished product. So, stick around to the end of the video, see how I went about it, and uh, at the end I'll talk to you again. Maybe you'll want to subscribe to my channel. I got a lot of cool stuff coming soon. Until then, we'll see you next time. Happy New Year. Well, he struggles with that over there, let me just tell you real quick. All the videos on YouTube make it look super easy to dismantle pallets. Not easy. I don't care what strategy you take, I'm doing the easy method. Just cutting both sides off and bending up just the middle part. To me, that's the easiest way to do it, and it's not easy. It's a struggle. So, if you've never done it, you've been thinking about doing it, uh, just be advised. It's a struggle. You're going to struggle through it, but it's not impossible. Some of the boards will break. So far in two pallets, I've had three boards break. That's pretty good. So, First things first, I found this piece of plywood. I've been hoarding it forever. I thought I'd use it on this project. So I put a nail right in the dead center and put my hot glue gun around it to use this little makeshift compass here. Put that on hold and run all my pallet boards through the table saw. Uh, one time on all of them to have a flat side and flip them all over and put them back through so they would all be uniform width and uh, ready to go. Came back, it was a little bit colder and uh, cut the circle out on the jigsaw, just a little rough cut circle. Broke out the miter saw, used my square to put it to 45 degree angle. A little bit of trial and error to get it exactly 45, but then I found it where I was pretty happy with it. Cut one end of all my boards and then uh, marked where they needed to be cut again. Went back and cut them all again. And really got double use out of each one of my pallet boards, so I was quite delighted about that. Uh, without further ado, I uh, Went ahead and broke out the wood glue. And uh, what I did, as you can see here, is all the 45 degree cuts are all pointing into the center of the table. So there's four quadrants, and each quadrant is, uh, yeah, pointing to the center. So it's like a V going upwards four times. I just used a jigsaw again to cut uh, all the overhang a little bit and then I made this little makeshift circle jig for my little bandsaw that I've got. I'll show you right here a little up close to see how I rigged this up. It was not really good but I put a dowel through my crag table, put a nail in the end of the dowel and then that nail went into a drill I hold, I drilled out in the center of my plywood. So I was kind of trying to balance this thing on a dowel. Terrible idea. It ended up making a straight line on one side. So instead of fighting it, I decided to go with it. Broke out the circular saw and cut off that side perfectly straight. Flipped it over and cut off the other side perfectly straight. So it's like a two flat sides on this table and two rounded in. Kind of let the error there uh, suggest a style decision. So I came back with the belt sander here and a uh, real rough grit on it just really laying into it and sanded it down. Use this crayon to make some uh, marks to sand further and make sure no spots were being missed. Tried to get it as level as possible. Still sanding with pretty coarse paper because so I was going to go back here. I run uh, this extra board through the table saw and cut really thin strips to glue around the rounded part. Now I went with thicker strips to go on the straight sides just to give it a different kind of style look. Tapped it in with some brad nails. 
Now the curved parts were a little trickier. I had to clamp them up and let them sit for about a half hour with the uh, glue. And then I uh, taped this side down and used the tape as little clamps. The tape proved to work better than the clamps. So on that clamp side, I had to come back with this wood filler and uh, fill in some of these little gaps that were left. I went ahead and filled in all the gaps on the tabletop, which weren't too many. But then I came back and hit it all again with the belt sander and got it all flush. Then came back with the orbital sander. Finally, putting on this shellac, which I waited a while, sanded it down, and uh, shellacked it again. And as always, here's my little woodworking buddy. My best friend buddy right there. The good man. All right, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel. Click the like button. Share it on on socials such and such. And uh, you know, leave.